Hello students, I am starting today with the second lesson. The name of the lesson as you can see is Introduction to Analytical Chemistry. I have altered the sequence of the lesson because yesterday what we did was uh, the concept of mole. I will be going ahead with that concept and explaining few things on that basis. right? So what we did on mole concept was uh, if I want to find out the number of moles, N is generally written for number of moles. Number of moles is equal to mass, if I call it W, upon molecular mass, if I call it as MW, molecular mass. Kisi bhi substance kya, agar mujhe number of moles dhunna hai, so it is equal to the mass of the substance divided by molecular mass. That is what we saw in that mole uh, triangle, right? Fine. Uh, what I mean by that is if I am given, supposedly, if I am given 11 grams of carbon dioxide, so I know the weight of carbon dioxide and I want to find out the number of moles of carbon dioxide, right? So, the number of moles of carbon dioxide will be 11 upon 44 because 44 is the molecular mass of, a molar mass of carbon dioxide. So, that, that's, the, that's basically the concept. Once you understand the mole concept properly, then you can go ahead with expressing the concentration. So, what do you mean by expressing the concentration? So, we know solutions can what are solutions? So, we have learned in school days that the solution is two components that do not react with each other. One is the solvent and the other is solute. Which is solute and which is solvent? So, the one which is the major contributor and solute is the minor. Okay, so that is what is the solution. A solvent hoga, a solute hoga. <coughs> Agar solvent pani hai, to solution ko hum kya kehte hai? We call it aqueous solution. Okay. Or solution ko classify kaise kiya jata hai? To there are number of ways. Solid in solid. Solution hota hai. उसको क्या कहते हैं alloy solid in liquid liquid in liquid gas in liquid so all these types so we won't be going into details of that that is there in 12 standard so basically we just have to understand solution में एक solvent होता है जो ज़्यादा प्रमाण में है more amount and solute जो है वो comparatively कम proportion में है fine अब क्या करना है मुझे तो ये सॉल्यूशन जो है इस सॉल्यूशन के कंसंट्रेशन को एक्सप्रेस करना है आई कैन एक्सप्रेस द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ सॉल्यूशन इन परसेंटेज बाय मास आई कैन एक्सप्रेस द कंसंट्रेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ मोल फ्रैक्शन आई कैन एक्सप्रेस द परसेंटेज इन टर्म्स ऑफ मोलैरिटी एंड आई कैन एक्सप्रेस द कंसंट्रेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ Molality. That is what the topic is. How to express the concentration? Okay. So, ये चारों में से कोई भी इस्तेमाल हो सकता है, depending upon numerical. One by one, we'll clear every concept. How to find out percentage by mass? Okay. How to find out percentage by mass? So, percentage by mass को symbolize किया जाता है W by W. It is परसेंटेज बाय मास इट इज परसेंटेज बाय मास 11 स्टैंडर्ड और 12 स्टैंडर्ड दोनों में विल फाइनलाइज इट राइट नाउ सॉल्वेंट को 1 लिखेंगे और सॉल्यूट को 2 लिखेंगे क्या मतलब है इसका सॉल्वेंट को 1 लिखेंगे सॉल्यूट को 2 लिखेंगे यानी परसेंटेज बाय मास परसेंटेज बाय मास इज इक्वल टू इट इज द mass of the solute upon the mass of the solution mass of the solute लिखो यहां चाहिए तो 
upon mass of solution in 200. Okay. W is written because M generally we use other symbol ke liye istemal karte. So weight nahi hai. You can use it as weight, uh, but weight is basically a force uh, that is what we measure it in Newton. Mass hi hai. Weight bola to bhi cut ho jata hai. So there is no problem. So I write mass of solute upon mass of sol uh, mass of solute upon mass of solution into 100. Or I can write it as the mass of solute upon the mass of solute plus the mass of solvent into 100. This is percentage by weight. Okay. So this is the first way of expressing concentration. Let us call it A. Or I have symbols in symbols. So how I write it in symbols? Weight of solute, it is W2 upon W2 plus W1 into 100. W2 upon W2 plus W1 into 100. That is the first way of expressing the concentration. It is called as percentage by weight. Will it have any units? No, it will not have any units because it is uh, mass of solute upon mass of solution into 100 agar ye kg mein hai to ye bhi kg mein cut ho jayega it will not have any units fine will it change with temperature will this concentration percentage by mass or percentage by weight will it change with temperature the answer is no mass temperature se badalta nahi density badlegi volume badlega lekin mass nahi badlega so this is not a function of temperature. It is not a function of temperature. Temperature ke saath ye nahi badlega. Fine. So that is the first topic. How we will express it in percentage by weight. That is W by W. Any problem in this? Fine. So let us see the second one. X. X ko kya bola mene? X is referred to as the mole fraction. Okay. Let us talk about the mole fraction now. B, I will write over here, it is X, <coughs> it is referred to as mole fraction, it is referred to as the mole fraction. Kiska mole fraction? Solute ka ya solvent ka? So let us say solute ka generally do, they are not necessary, you can find it up for solvent as well. So what is mole fraction? Mole fraction of solute is equal to x2 mole fraction of solute is equal to the number of moles of solute upon the total number of moles number of moles of solute upon the total number of moles x2 kya hai number of moles of solute upon the total number of moles n is for number of moles mistaken yeah, with x like that also so x2 is the mole fraction of what 2 2 yana kya hai solute it is equal to the number of moles of solute upon the total number of moles ye kya hai ye hai number of moles of solute ye kya hai number of moles of solvent how can i write this as this can also be written as w2 upon mw2 upon w1 upon mw1 plus w2 upon mw2 what is x2 x is mole fraction 2 is for solute number of moles of solute upon the total number of moles number of moles can be written as mass upon molecular mass mass of solute upon molecular mass of solute mass of solvent upon molecular mass of solvent is it okay? Fine. Abhi mein zikr kar raha tha generally solute kai likhte hai lekin can I have x1? Can I have x1? The answer is yes. What's that? It is mole fraction of solvent. It is the number of moles of solvent upon number of moles of solvent upon the total number of moles. Exactly the same way. I can write this as 
डब्ल्यू वन अपॉन एम डब्ल्यू वन अपॉन डब्ल्यू वन अपॉन एम डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू वन अपॉन एम डब्ल्यू टू सिंपल इज दैट देर इज देर एनी रिलेशन बिटवीन एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू कैन आई हैव रिलेशन बिटवीन एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू द आंसर इज येस लेट इज फाइंड इट आउट एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू आई एम एडिंग दीज टू रिजल्ट इट विल बी एन वन अपॉन एन वन प्लस एन टू प्लस एन टू अपॉन एन वन प्लस एन टू विच इज एन वन प्लस एन टू अपॉन एन वन प्लस एन टू दैट इज वन सो एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू विल बी इक्वल टू वन एनी प्रॉब्लम इन दिस मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सोल्यूट मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सॉल्वेंट और इन दोनों में का रिलेशन अगेन द क्वेश्चन Will the mole fraction depend upon temperature? Will it? Again, the answer is no, because the mole fraction, ये mass or molecular mass के ऊपर depend करता है. So again, not a function of temperature. Not a function of temperature. Very simple. Percentage by mass के ऊपर से आप percentage by volume भी ढूंढ सकते हो. ये आपको खुद सोचना है. अगर कभी न्यूमेरिकल आया परसेंटेज बाय वॉल्यूम तो क्या होगा वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्यूट अपॉन वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्यूशन इन टू हंड्रेड सिंपल सिंपल क्या होगा परसेंटेज वी बाय बी ओके फाइन सो अभी तो नहीं है वी हैव डब्ल्यू बाय डब्ल्यू वो हुआ एक्स कैपिटल एम इट इज द वन विच इज यूज मोस्ट वाइडली कैपिटल एम कैपिटल एम का मतलब है मोलैरिटी See the spelling very very properly. It is molarity. R है वो. How will I define molarity? This is the way we can express it. This is the pattern we express molar uh, concentration in maximum number of times, right? So, <coughs> so molarity ये हमेशा solute की होती है. Molarity is defined as the number of moles of solute n. किसके लिए है? Number of moles के लिए. Number of moles of solute upon volume of solution in liter or decimeter cube. यहाँ बहुत specifically कहा गया है कि it is the number of moles of solute upon volume of solution in liter or decimeter cube. बड़े ध्यान से देखिए इसको कोई units नहीं है. ये function ये temperature के ऊपर dependent नहीं है. इसको भी कोई unit नहीं है. ये function ये temperature के ऊपर dependent भी नहीं. ये देखिए अभी मोलैरिटी इज इक्वल टू मोलैरिटी इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट अपॉन वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्यूशन इन लीटर और डेसीमीटर क्यूब राइट सो इट इज इक्वल टू एन टू अपॉन वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्यूशन ऐसे रहने दो उसको ये लिखना जरूरी नहीं है एक बार तुमको समझ में आया लीटर डेसीमीटर क्यूब है यू कैन बी रेस्ट एश्योर की सही जाएगा वो एन टू एन टू इज डब्ल्यू टू अपॉन एम टू इन टू वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्यूशन अब देखो ये जो तीसरा तरीका है कॉन्सेंट्रेशन को एक्सप्रेस करने का जिसको हम मोलैरिटी कह रहे हैं क्या उसको यूनिट्स है एंड आंसर इज यस वॉट आर दूनिट्स ऑफ मोलैरिटी द यूनिट्स ऑफ मोलैरिटी आर मोल पर डी एम क्यू और मोल्स पर लीटर यू कैन आई डिटाइज मोल्स पर लीटर राइट क्यों क्योंकि नंबर ऑफ मोल्स को मोल में लिखा है और वॉल्यूम ऑफ सॉल्यूशन को हमने लिखा है डीएम क्यूब में या लीटर में वॉट एवर सो डेफिनेटली इट विल हैव यूनिट्स वेदर इट इज टेम्परेचर डिपेंडेंट एंड द आंसर इज यस दिस इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टेम्परेचर दिस इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टेम्परेचर या दिस इज नॉट लिखा है सो दिस इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टेम्परेचर तो क्या होगा हाउ बिकॉज वेन वी इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर टेम्परेचर बढ़ाएंगे तो वॉल्यूम बढ़ेगा बिकॉज दैट्स द वे वी एड गोज वॉल्यूम बढ़ेगा तो मोलैरिटी कम हो जाएगी सो डेफिनेटली एंड अनडाउटेडली टेम्परेचर बदलेगा तो ये बदलता है सो आई अंडरस्टैंड द थर्ड वे ऑफ एक्सप्रेसिंग कॉन्सेंट्रेशन दैट इज मोलैरिटी एंड नाउ द फोर्थ एंड द लास्ट वन इज मोलैलिटी स्मॉल एंड बड़े ध्यान से देखो इसको दिस इज molarity the symbol is small m this is the fourth way 
small n and we write it as molality and we write it as molality and how I define molality molality is defined as molality is defined as the number of moles of solute Papas n2 <coughs> same as number of moles of solute upon kya likha hai dhyan se dekho number of moles of solute upon mass of solvent in kg please pay attention here specifically kis sirf kiska mass hai solvent ka mass hai solute ka sab upar hai solvent ka jo sab hai wo niche hai ye solute ke characteristic hai ye solvent ke it is the mass of solvent in kg mass of solvent in kg w is for mass 1 for solvent bracket means likha hai unit unit kg hai iska matlab agar grams mein diya hai to into 10 raised to the power minus 3 karke usko kg mein convert karna zaruri hai fine i can write this as w2 upon m2 into w1 in kg so that are these are this is another formula kya isko units hai mai wapas ek baar dohra raha isko koi units nahi इधर क्या लिखा था हमने मोल फ्रैक्शन उसको भी कोई यूनिट्स नहीं इसको यूनिट्स थे इसको भी यूनिट्स है क्या होंगे यूनिट्स इसका ऑब्वियसली द यूनिट विल बी मोल पर केजी द यूनिट्स विल बी मोल पर केजी क्यों क्योंकि n2 इज एक्सप्रेस्ड इन मोल एंड मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इज एक्सप्रेस्ड इन केजी सो इट विल बी मोल पर केजी सिंपल इज दैट फाइन विल इट डिपेंड ऑन टेंपरेचर विल दिस pattern of expressing the concentration with temperature depend answer is no because number of moles will not depend upon because number of moles will not depend upon temperature and even the mass of the solvent so this will not depend upon temperature independent of temperature okay this is what is there in our text four methods of expressing concentration I'll teach you one or two more for the entrances, but first check out whether you have any doubt in this. Okay, now let us see a few more for entrances. Let us see few more for entrances. E. The one I was discussing. Percentage by volume kaha jata is. Percentage by volume kaha jata hai. What is it? It is equal to volume of solute upon volume of solution into 100 percentage by volume it is equal to volume of solute upon volume of solution into 100 kuch sawal aapke liye de raha number one kya mein volume of solution ko volume of solute plus volume of solvent लिख सकता हूँ, is it right? That is the first question. Can I write volume of solution is equal to volume of solute plus volume of solvent and is it a function of temperature? And is it a function of temperature? ये दो सवाल आपके ज़हन में रखिए, खुद ढूँढने की कोशिश कीजिए, थोड़े-थोड़े questions इसलिए दे रहा हूँ ताकि when you start looking for it you will get so many other uh, concepts okay ek dhoon mein jao to do char cheeze extra mil jayegi fine aur ek cheez leta hu yahan pe extra percentage by mass hai percent ye jo hai this is the per is divided by and percent cent is for 100 abhi main aapko ek naye term bata raha hu ppm parts per million okay what is parts per million Parts per million generally जब बहुत कम concentration होता है solute का तो parts per million इस्तेमाल किया जाता है 
let us talk about parts per million where I can write it now I just get rid of this okay A B C D E F यहाँ ऊपर भी लिख सकते हैं F P P M that corresponds to parts per million <coughs> अभी how will I express it? It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. It is weight of your mass of solute upon weight of solution into sirf percent. This is 100 aya per million. Yani yani into 10 raised to 6 aya. As simple as that. Percent tha is 10 raised to 2 aya. 100 aya. Per million hai yaha pe is 10 raised to 6 aya. Simple. So, weight of solute upon weight of solution, yeah, mass of solute upon mass of solution into 10 raise to 6, which you can write it as weight of solute, yeah, mass of solute upon mass of solute plus mass of solvent into 10 raise to 6. Okay, this is parts per million. This is parts per million in terms of mass parts per million I can also express it in terms of volume what it will be it will be <coughs> volume of solute upon volume of solution into 10 raised to 6 simple it is volume of solute upon volume of solution into 10 raised to 6 uh, this topic actually is the last part of the lesson which is introduction to analytical chemistry. The reason I took it immediately because it is in sync with yesterday's topic and very very important from 12th point of view. So what you are supposed to do is there are few more ways of expressing concentrations those who are preparing for national level entrances there is something which is called as formality and then you can also try and link this to what is the relation between the molarity and molality something like that okay that, that that's basically a brainstormer type question but you try it out key number one the question is, which is given over here can i write this number two is this percentage by volume a function of temperature Try and find out a relation between mole fraction and molarity. Try and find out a relation between molarity and molality if you can. Okay. Because that will actually trigger the way you tend to solve a given question if you are given the basis. That is the applicative skills will be sharp enough. What is expected of you is just go through that. We will be solving the numericals on this later on. And the name of the lesson is Introduction to Analytical Chemistry. We'll start with the name of the lesson tomorrow. So make sure you are going through this and try and study something more. Okay. So thank you so much for seriously watching this. Have a great day.